Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to get started with the Arduino portion of our high altitude balloon project. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I decided I better get moving on the uh, on the Arduino data logging part of the high altitude balloon. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is start building a data logger to an SD card to log the different sensors that we're going to put into uh, into near space. So I decided this would be the most important part of the build to start with is getting the data recorded to SD. Um, the GPS units I'll be using are going to top out significantly before our max altitude if we achieve it. They they won't do the hundred plus thousand feet that we're we're going to need. So we're going to be reliant on the uh, on the uh, backup barometric pressure, uh, I think. Anyway, I wanted to start here, so that's where we're going to start. Um, let's get started and uh, get this up on the breadboard. So here we are set up on the breadboard. I ditched the LCD for this portion because I have a new plan. I'm not going to use an LCD with this unit going into space. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I have planned in the next video, providing it works. Uh, so this is the SD card reader writer that I have. It requires six wires, which hopefully we can maybe even show here. We've got the ground, the meso, the SCK, which is the serial clock, the MOSI, the CS chip select, and 5 volts. So, not much to it. Uh, I set them up on this small Arduino board. This is not what I'm going to be using for the final project. I think I'm going to switch this over and probably use an Uno. Uh, I doubt I'll need a Mega, but uh, I think the Uno is going to be a little easier to work with. I don't know. Um, for now, this is what I had on the board, so I'll go ahead and use this. And um, yeah, this this is working. Uh, what I did is I took the example code and tried it to make sure this worked, and uh, it worked. But I hated the example code. Um, believe it or not, it's written a little too well for novices like me. They're they're using for loops and and stuff for setting pins and data, and uh, it gets a little confusing. So I found some other code, uh, more basic code that actually used an LCD. Uh, in the in their code, which was very convenient for me because I want to print to serial as well And uh, I just adapted their LCD code and we'll just take a quick dive in to that And I'll make it available hopefully for others to download. Hopefully it'll help This will be the foundation of our Arduino data collection in space Here we are with the uh, example sketch of the SD card data logger uh, anyone can open this from within the Arduino uh, programming environment from examples and under SD and you can open the data logger example. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I chose not to go with this example. Um, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It just, uh, I found out it would have to do quite a few modifications to uh, dumb down the code somewhat from what it is now so uh, what I ended up doing is I found some code online and uh, a little bit more basic and hacked it up so there's some comments here I'll try and make this code available maybe I'll start a new uh, thingiverse thing or something to host it but it's really basic you include the SD card library um, define some things. Uh, obviously I'm going to be setting a whole lot more um, pins and uh, data input output as I move along depending on what sensors we add but for now, right now we have A0 and A1, the analog pins. And uh, we set up the serial and uh, we do the uh, I set it up as internal and external temp that's not what they are they're just floating pins right now but uh, um, just an example for later uh, pull the data I also serial print the data so let's have a look at that right now pull up the serial monitor and it's going to restart the card 
and this is what we're getting out of the serial monitor. Um, I might as well share right now what my plan for this is. This Arduino setup is going to be buried within the space capsule, uh, very hard to get at once we pack it all up, and I want to be able to do a systems check before flight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a Bluetooth uh, module to the board, and I'll be able to, with a cell phone externally, check and make sure that we're logging data. Uh, my hope is that's going to work out okay. Uh, right now I see no reason why not. So that's my plan. Uh, we'll see how that unfolds. Anyway, um, this is the extent of the code, check the SD card, uh, which is the void check SD and the void write SD, and this is what we write to the card. And what we end up getting is a file like this. So we have the line number, the data1, data2, which I've redefined later to, uh, to those temp channels. But uh, this line1, I'm going to be replacing that with a real-time clock module. Again, it'll be another video and another ad. Piece by piece, we'll build this up. But for now, we have a chronological order of each line through, uh, through the loop and the data stored according to it. Um, right now, I'm going to do a sanity check on the data and just see how long it goes uh, without error, just to make sure everything works okay. I'm going to let this thing basically run overnight. Um, maybe I'll swap it over to the new board first. Um, maybe not. Uh, again, I'm going to test the heck out of all this stuff uh, prior to us actually sending this thing to space. We want to get some decent data, so might as well test as we build. Anyway guys, that is logging to an SD card with the Arduino for the DIY space program. Hope it helps someone someday and good luck with all your projects. Thanks for watching.